Hi everybody, hi again. Uh, it's finally the weekend again. Always get very excited. Well, not finally, but always seems to come around pretty quick. Um, so I just want to make uh, a video, this is going to be a very quick one today, um, about um, lang learning languages and getting distracted and setting aims and things like that. Um, and I wanted to talk about it because uh, it's something I've been thinking about lately and I've noticed that it's going to keep on happening and I'm trying to find a solution to it. Um, yeah, in a way it's good, but at the end of the day you have to set your goals, clear goals, so you can concentrate on them. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about um, learning a particular, say you want to learn, this is uh, more for people who are learning multiple languages. Um, say you're learning a language or something like that, and, or you're learning a couple languages and you want to learn another one. You know, like you've got your, you're learning a few languages and you get distracted. You hear someone else speak another language, you think, oh, that might be good to know that. Um, it might be good to know a few phrases and words and things like that, and that's good. I think it's perfectly fine to want to have a look or take a peek at a language um, to see what it's all about, see what it's like, to see if you like it. Um, there's nothing wrong with learning a few words and phrases. So typically what I do is I have a couple languages which I'm very serious about um, and I devote most of my time to them and I've got other languages which I'm just a little bit curious by uh, about and I um, find and I know a native speaker or something like that. And I like to ask them about, I like to ask them a little bit about their language and how do you say this? You know, I say please, thank you. My name is basic stuff like that. Um, and it happens because you, because I encounter other people of other nationalities at work. I work with some Koreans. Um, I guess throughout my daily life, I encounter a lot of Chinese people. I don't know Italian people whatever, Hungarians, and that sort of thing. So, um, I have my languages that I'm concentrating on, but I get distracted and think, oh, it'd be good to learn that, that one as well. So, I think it's okay if you've got your, you've set your goals, you've got a couple that you want to be very serious about, and others that you just want to know a little bit about, that's fine. Because later on, if you have to learn more about them, then it will be easier. Um, so there's nothing wrong with doing that. People might see you doing this and think, oh, you're learning that language now. And I think, well, I'm not learning this language per se, but I'm curious. Enough, and that's fine. But you can get distracted and you can think, oh, well, maybe I should learn that one. And that sort of thing. You might be a bit unsure at times. So what I plan to do... Um, soon on YouTube. Um, I'm going to make a video about my aims for the next year or next two years or next three years um, about which languages I'm going to be studying. Now of course I don't want to be studying one language for five years or ten years. I don't want to do that. Um, um, I think you can get, if you set yourself an aim six months, a year or two years for a particular language depending on what it is and how much time you're putting into it then I think you can achieve a lot. Um, and also it depends what your aims are. Everyone's aims are different. Do you want to become native-like level or just good enough basic fluency or just a few words and phrases? So you have, you know, many levels. Um, people have different aims. So it's all up to you. That's why I think you should set yourself some goals. So I'm going to come on here and do a video soon in the next, maybe the next month um, about maybe less than that. Uh, about which languages I'm going to be studying when I have to set myself a goal with them. Um, I'm obviously, at the moment, I'm trying to brush up on my Italian, but I already have a fairly strong knowledge in that already. I can get by quite well with that. I use it every day, so that's okay. It's more just fixing things up and getting a lot more vocab. That's what I'm trying to do with Italian. I'm trying to read more books, listen to more things, speak more. Children's books, I'm reading a lot of them and other kinds of books and things like that about language learning. 
So I'm trying to get my, I'm trying to brush up on my Italian, although I can function quite well in Italian. And as for Hungarian, which I'm studying, uh, I have a lesson once a week. Um, I try to listen as much as I can during the week at home to teach yourself, which I've talked about before. Teach yourself Hungarian, which is a very good series. I've also got Asimil Hungarian. Um, I like to use a bit of both. But I think I'm going to work through this one for a little bit. So as soon as uni is done, I'm going to listen more to that since that kind of gets in the way. Um, I concentrate on Hungarian until I go away. I probably concentrate on Italian as well, just brushing up. So I'll be going to Italy too. I'll be going to Italy and Hungary and Germany and some other places. Um, so we can definitely learn multiple languages. I don't, I don't want to learn one language. That's not enough for me. Um, but still, we can't do everything. So we should set ourselves uh, particular goals. So I'd be, yeah, so Italian, Hungarian. My German will probably suffer. I haven't devoted much time to that lately because I just, I can't. Um, I did Finnish for a year. It's a very interesting language. Of course, though, there's not many resources for that language. So, I mean, I've got a couple of books for it. And of course, Finland is a long, long way away from Australia. And there's not many Finns here. So I don't get to use that. But nevertheless, it's good to look at Finnish because it's very interesting. But I probably won't have time for that just yet. Um, Hungarian I can use on a more daily basis because there's Hungarian immigrants here. Um, Italian, no problem. And I plan to take up some Asian languages in the future. And I haven't quite decided which ones just yet. But I will. I'll come back with a plan, um, a clear plan with... Um, my objectives, you know, my aims, um, to make things a bit easier. Um, so I'm interested to know um, what you guys are doing, if you're learning, or particularly if you're learning multiple languages, uh, which ones you're learning and how you're going about it. If you're learning this one for a year, next year you're doing another one, um, or maybe you've got a different approach, I don't know. I'd be interested to hear how you're doing it and about your aims. Maybe your also your reasons for choosing that particular language or languages. So, thanks very much, and hopefully I'll get to make another video, probably about something else this weekend. So, thanks.